Welcome to the Skelton Report. I'm Mark Nathaniel Skelton, and today we're going to be talking about the misconceptions of dementia. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a really cool article by Medical News Today that I'll put in the references, and it covers 11, but today I just want to highlight four of those myths about dementia. And the reason why is just for us to get a better understanding of what dementia is as a community, uh, whether um, uh, for self-knowledge and or maybe a friend or a loved one or a family member may be experiencing dementia. And so according to the Medical News Today article, uh, the statistics, let's take a look at those, 5.8 million people aged 65 years or older have dementia in the United States. And due to the fact that the average lifespan of people in the United States have increased, people are living longer, some experts project that by 2050, the number of older adults with dementia could reach 13.8 million. All right, and so there's a lot of fears that surround dementia, which breeds some of the misconceptions. All right, so let's talk about the first one. All right, the first one is that dementia is inevitable, and the article shares that this is not a true statement. All right, dementia is not a normal part of aging. So according to uh, a report that the Alzheimer's Association published, Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common form of dementia, affects only 3% of people aged 65 years to 75 years old in the United States. And as a result of the risk increasing as we age, 17% uh, of people 75 to 84 uh, years old have dementia or diagnosis and 32% of people aged 85 or older. Okay, so just know that just don't write it off to older age. There is a unique set of characteristics that does come with dementia. So that's just FYI. The next thing is dementia and Alzheimer's are the same. Now this is a big one. Now there is a difference and, there's our, and there are different types of dementia. Now Alzheimer's accounts for 60 to 80% of all dementia cases. All right, and that's the reason why it's um, sometimes they're, they're said together like they're the exact same thing. The example I like to use is like uh, Kleenex is a brand of tissue, but um, we typically say hand me a Kleenex instead of hand me a tissue. But just know that Kleenex is a type of tissue, all right? And so Alzheimer's is a type of dementia. All right, and so there's other types, which include frontal temporal dementia, vascular dementia that usually results like after strokes or some type of a um, cerebral uh, damage or attack as well as there's mixed dementias Lewy body if you've heard of parkinson so these are all different and just fyi just the um, diagnostic statistical manual labels them more five and this is the new one the text revi text revised um, labels them more as neurocognitive disorders as opposed to just solely dementia. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, the National Institute of Aging as well defined dementia as, just so you know, the loss of cognitive functioning. So thinking, remembering, reasoning, and there are behavioral abilities, so physical um, declines as well that can occur. All right? And they interfere with a person's daily activities all right so just know that dementia and Alzheimer's are not the same thing number three all right if a family member has dementia that means I'm gonna get dementia and that's a common myth as well uh, dementia is not purely genetic uh, there is a genetic component to some forms of dementia or neurocognitive disorders um, but majority of cases do not have strong genetic links. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, 
as we learn, rather than genetic factors, the most significant risk factors for dementia, for instance, is aging. However, if a parent or grandparent develop Alzheimer's when they were younger than 65, the chance of it passing on genetically is higher. So there's a component, but it's not the end-all, be-all genetics. And number four, dementia makes life meaningless. All right, so this is not the case as well. Many diagnosed with dementia lead active and meaningful lives. And, and that's the reason why I'm kind of sharing this information to help out is even practicum work, things I'm learning in school, personal experiences. Just because you have dementia doesn't mean that all is lost. All right, uh, many people with dementia and uh, diagnosed uh, lead active, meaningful lives. Some people fear that if a doctor diagnoses them with dementia, they will no longer be able to go on a walk alone or they'll have to stop driving immediately. Again, things are case by case basis. And it's true that a lot of adjustments will have to happen um, in time and as things progress. Um, but again, there's mild dementia or neurocognitive disorders and then there's moderate and severe. So again, that's why it's very important uh, to go to the proper professionals to have that diagnosis to know where an individual stands. And I do plan on making another video that explains that process if you're unaware. So just as a recap, all right, dementia is not inevitable. Just because you get older doesn't mean you're doomed to get it, but do know that it is different than just normal aging. All right, there's actual real cognitive decline in abilities that impact how you live your daily living. There's different types, so Alzheimer's and dementia are not the same thing. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia, and as I mentioned earlier, neurocognitive disorder. Um, it's not genetically guaranteed. That means if your parents had it or grandparents, it doesn't mean you automatically are going to have dementia. All right, and, and just because an individual uh, is diagnosed with dementia, um, they can still lead a meaningful life. All right, that's where like a lot of love and support comes into play for that. Um, if you found this information helpful, please subscribe to at Mark N. Skelton. Um, you know, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Udemy, and the Skelton Report for more information like it. And thank you for listening. There goes the references. And that's all I got. Hope that was helpful. And uh, I'll just catch you on the next go around. Peace.